found it provides a new and I think extremely alarming phenomenon. <laughs> What makes this particularly important and dangerous is the possession of nuclear weapons. Now, we don't know whether Iran has or hasn't nuclear weapons, but they're certainly making every effort to acquire them. And my guess is that they either have some already or will have them within a very short time. <laughs> از همه ظرفیت هسته‌ای رو به پایان است و با و ما نزدیکی‌های قله هستیم مقاومت‌های دشمنان در حال تضعیف شدن و ضعیف‌تر شدن است We need to understand what's been happening in Iran over the past 30 years Ever since 1979 when Ayatollah Khomeini came to power in Iran and established his theocracy he didn't just establish a tyranny in Iran, he declared war against the West. He declared his intention to Islamize the West, to subjugate the West to Islam. Very few people at the time took that seriously. The followers of Ayatollah Khomeini shocked the world by taking over an American embassy and holding our State Department employees hostage for 444 days. And what that was, was a statement against the West, a statement against America, and making it clear to their population and to all the Islamists of the world that theocratic Islamism stood against American liberty and Western freedom. We know that the Iranian government is working uh, very hard to uh, develop a nuclear weapons program as well as other kinds of uh, weapons of mass destruction programs. Iran's nuclear program is thought to be spread over at least 50 sites. They could, at least in theory, enrich uranium to 90%, weapons grade, requiring some 2,000 centrifuges spinning to supersonic speeds. <laughs> قدرت پوشالی و سلطه شیطانی آمریکا بر جهان رو به نابودی I would regard this as a real danger at the present time the acquisition of nuclear weapons and their control by Ahmadinejad During the Cold War both sides the United States and the Soviet Union had nuclear weapons, but they didn't use them because of what we knew as MAD, M-A-D, Mutual Assured Destruction. Each side knew that if they used a nuclear weapon, the other would respond in kind and everybody would be destroyed. M-A-D won't work with uh, Ahmadinejad um, because Mutual Assured Destruction, for one of his mindset, is not a deterrent, it's an incentive. Um, it, this is the final struggle, the end of time. It doesn't matter if you kill billions of your own people. Allah will know his own, and you will be doing them a favor by giving them a quick pass to heaven and all its delights. Um, that's why I feel that if he has it, or when he has it, to be more precise, he will not hesitate to use it.